Hello, my name is Murray Wilkinson. I'm from FutureGen Solutions. This afternoon, I'd like to talk to you about what I would term the dominant narrative that's currently occurring around the world in the Australian economy. Specifically, what I'm referring to is the events that have actually taken place very recently. And these events are rising interest rates from Federal Reserve Banks around the world and Australia and the effect that this is having on markets and the economy. But I'd like to go back a little bit first. Go back over the last 10 years, we've lived in a period of very low interest rates. And what this has led to is asset values around the world rising, ballooning in values. We then came up to the period of COVID, and that was a artificially induced contraction to world markets, and we saw stock markets cascade down and then up again. Now what's occurred is that following that we then had the situation where a war in Ukraine broke out and this has led to a supply line crisis. The result of this has brought about for the first time in over 30 years inflation, the ugly head of inflation. And this is where the dominant narrative starts to come to play because we have reserve banks in the United States and Australia and the European countries that are dominated by, led by people who've experienced inflation in the past. And inflation is a terrible thing. It destroys value. It destroys pension funds for retirees. It, it has an awesome effect. So as a result, these bankers have set about containing inflation by rapidly increasing interest rates. Now the effect of these interest rates has been to drive down asset values. Initially, in the first markets to respond have been, have been global equity markets and the Australian market. So we've now seen a situation where the United States market is down about 25%, our market's down a good 17 to 18% depending on the day. And the atmosphere is one of gloom and increasing pessimism. Now the dominant narrative is that these interest rates will continue to climb and as a result, you know, beware, uh, you know, the economy is actually you know, getting worse uh, and therefore uh, not a good time to invest. But while that's the dominant narrative, we have reasons to disbelieve. And what we disbelieve is that the fact that, not that the economy is getting worse, but more importantly that investors you need to look ahead a good 12 to 18 months and see where things are. And reserve banks, central banks around the world are famous for overshooting. So it's not necessarily that things won't worsen, recession won't come. We agree that, that this might occur. But what we believe we are reaching is a point of where there is maximum gloom and maximum pessimism. And as an investor and as a contrarian investor, this is the best time to be investing. For that reason, what we're doing is we're revisiting our client portfolios, we're revisiting our exposure to growth, and we're surely taking that up. Particularly over the coming three or four months, we're looking to reset all of our clients into a more aggressive growth posture, taking on more global equities, more Australian equities, and we're doing that because we believe that times of maximum pessimism produce the greatest results in the longer term. Thanks for your time this afternoon. If you've got any questions on my point of view, please feel free to come back to us directly. Thank you.